Okay, we're back again for another uh, service calculation video. This is part three, and this is going to be over fasten and place appliances and largest motor load. Okay, so um, if you haven't seen the first two, the first one is on um, general lighting load, small appliance, and laundry circuits. The second one is on dryers, uh, ranges, and furnace. And now we're on this one. Okay, after this one's done, the next video then we'll be putting them all together to do our full calculation for our ungrounded service conductors. Of course, and after that we'll do our grounded service conductor, but it's not going to be as much. Okay, so we'll start with a joke. You got three men, they're on a prison bus, right? And they're all allowed to bring one thing. First guy says he's going to bring playing cards because he says you can play all sorts of games. So they're around me, poker, pitch, all these different things to keep you busy. He, first second guy says, um, well, I'm going to bring my painting supplies because I can paint anything I want in this prison. Uh, all sorts of different things. They look at the third guy. The third guy smiles and says, um, I was very thoughtful in mine and I brought tampons. The other two look at him and they're like, tampons? What the heck do you use tampons for? The guy says, just look at the box. It says you can swim, ride horses, and skate. I just can't wait to see how they work. Okay, that's the joke today. Alright, so turn to Article 250.53. 250.53 is your appliance load dwelling units. Okay, I'm going to read it quick here, and there has been some changes since the last code, and I'll kind of go through that too, but, um, and then we'll, we'll talk about what it means. It says, it shall be permissible to apply a demand factor of 75%. To the nameplate rating of four or more appliances rated one fourth horsepower or greater or 500 watts or greater that are fastened in place and are served by the same feeder or service in a one family, two family, or multifamily dwelling. And then it says this demand factor shall not apply to household electric cooking equipment that is fastened in place, clothes dryers, space heating equipment, or air conditioning equipment. Okay, so um, basically, what that is saying is if we have uh, four or more fast in place appliances, and that would be like washing machine, water pump, uh, water heater, um, garbage disposal, uh, garage door opener, those type of things. If we have four or more, we can take their um, nameplate FLA, add them all up, and take it times 75% uh, because we don't need to take the full load because they're assuming they're not going to be on at the same time. Okay. Um, the thing that was changed is from the last code to this code. If you look there, the first highlighted part, it says the quarter inch horsepower rating minimum and the 500 watt minimum. Before they didn't have a minimum. Now they have that as a minimum. Um, I would assume because uh, you figure 500 watts is like three amps or something. So those really small or four amps or those really small loads, uh, they're not gonna worry about putting in the calculation, okay? All right, so um, let's do an example of this, right? Let's say we've got a water heater, and a water heater rating is usually in VAs already. So, twenty-five hundred VAs. We don't have to do anything with it because it's already there. Uh, then, let's say we have a water pump. We live out in the country. We have our own well. We have a water pump. We're going to say this water pump is 10 amps, right? Well, we can't use amps, obviously. We need to get the VAs. So we're going to take that times the voltage. A water pump is a 240 volt application, so we need to make sure we multiply by 240 on this one. And that equals 2400 VA. Okay? So after that, let's say we have a dishwasher. disposal at 8 amps and we have a a garage 
garage door opener. Let's say it's six amps, okay? These three are all 120 volt loads. That's why it's important to know the voltage that your appliance is take. So all three of these are gonna multiply each of those by 120 volts. We have 840 VAs for that one. We have seven, or let's see, eight times 120 is 960. Excuse me, and six times 120 equals uh, 720 VAs. Okay, so once we get all of our um, fa uh, fast and place appliances switched to VAs, then we can add them up. Equals 7,420 VA. Okay, so that's our total for all of our fast and in place appliances. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, so we have four more. We can apply that 75% to it. So we take 7420 times 0.75 and we get we get 5,565 VAs okay this here then small or uh, excuse me fastened in place load. Okay, that's the number we would then use for our calculations for our ungrounded service conductors. That makes sense? Okay, so the next thing and the, the last thing on this video is going to be our motor load. Okay, so um, what I'm going to have you do is turn to uh, 220.50 or go to I guess, you don't have to turn the page. Now 220.50, it says motors. Motor load shall be calculated in accordance with 430 24, 25, 26, and with 440 for uh, hermetic refrigerant motor compressors. Okay. Now we uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at 430.24. So go ahead and turn there. This is the one that really applies to us when it comes to our service calculations for our uh, residents. Okay. Uh, if you look at 430.25. Um, excuse me, 430.24 and several motors or motors and other loads. Conductors flying several motors um, or a motor and motors and other loads shall have an opacity not less than the sum of each of the following. Now we look at number one there is the one we're going to focus on. It says 125% of the full load current reading of the highest rated motor as determined by 430.6a. Okay. Now uh, that's what we're going to focus on. I'm going to read the next two sum of the full load current readings of all the other motors in the group. 100% uh, of the non-continuous load and 100% of the continuous, uh, continuous non-motor load. Okay, so um, the rest of those two through four have already been incorporated in our calculation already. The only thing we haven't is that 125% of the full load rating of the highest rated motor. Now we've, are, we've, we've already incorporated in the first 100% with our small appliance loads, right? So we just need to incorporate the extra 25%, okay? So we have to find in our, in our fast and place appliances, which one is the biggest motor? This one has the highest number, right? But is a water heater a motor? No. So our next highest motor then is gonna be our water pump at 2,400 VAs, okay? So we take our 2,400 VAs times the extra 25% and we need to add in and we get 600 VAs. This is the largest motor load. Okay? And then that would be incorporated into our calculation as well. Does that make sense? Okay. So this is in a real long uh, video, um, but it covers, we're covering these two topics, the fastened in place 
and we're covering the uh, largest motor load. Okay. Now, the thing to remember here is you got to make sure we are ending up in VAs first off. Second, we got to make sure we know this one's a 240 and this one's a 240. The rest of these are 120s. You got to know what the voltage is of your appliance because we have to when we we multiply our amps times our volts. If we put the wrong volts in, we're going to come with the wrong answer. Okay. Um, and then the last thing, of course, um, is if it's four or more appliances, then we're going to take it times 0.75 or 75% um, because they're not all going to be on at the same time. Okay. Now, if there's three or less, then we would just take the number that we calculated and that would be it. We wouldn't do the 75%. Okay. So I hope this makes sense. Like I said, in the next video here, um, we'll probably shoot that again yet today. I'm going to incorporate everything together um, that we've talked about in the last two videos in this video for our full service calculation. Okay, hope this made sense. If there's any questions, like I said, leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll see you shortly on the next one. Shortly. Right after this. We'll see ya.